And now, a fireside chat with the creators of Comedy Central South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Kick the baby! Don't kick the baby. Kick the baby! Children, that's a problem we've all had to face at some time or another. It might clear things up. I'm gonna make love to you, woman! No! You hear me? You go to hell! You go to hell and you die! And say, I beg you to give me back my money. I beg you to give me back my money. Now say, I'm a little piggy. What? Say it. I'm a little piggy. Here's my snout. Here's my snout. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Now dance, little piggy. Dance and oink for me. I'm a little piggy. Here's my snout. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me taste your tears, Scott. Mm, your tears are so yummy and sweet. Dude, I think it might be best for us to never piss Cartman off again. Good call. Oh, the tears of unfathomable sadness. Mm, yummy. Motivation court. Scam. Yeah, I can't believe it. They've all been lying to us this whole time. This whole time. We have to teach our parents a lesson. Show them they can't just play with our emotions like that. <laughs> now you know my terrible secret. You're gay? It's fine if you're gay, Butters. I don't care. Huh? Well, you know what us ultra-liberals say. When it comes to children and drugs, lies are okay. Eh, uh, I don't want to play anymore, you guys. A few billion years ago, we realized, what if we took species from all different planets in the universe and put them together on the same planet? Great TV, right? Asians, bears, ducks, Jews, deer, and Hispanics all trying to live side by side on one planet. This gentleman at 8 o'clock, it's everyone's favorite show! Earth. It's been 100 Galgamars since we first took species from 17 different planets and put them all together on the same planet! They fought, fallen in love. What will happen this Galgamar? Tune in Janamon today to find out. It's Earth on Fongo. My God. We're famous! <laughs> You're the best friend in the whole world. Uh, I love you. I love you too, man. I just... Uh, oh, you look so delicious! Must eat your brains! Ah! <laughs> Please tell you... Yeah, because if you don't smoke, you can grow up to be just like us! <laughs> here, here, give me another one, give me another one. <coughs> oh, dude, this is really hard. <coughs> lighty and a hidey lighty lay. We work and we make cigarettes all hidey lighty day. So folks can get a breaky from their stressful lighty lives and relaxy with the cigarettes we make all day and night. All right, people, we gotta get moving on the bill of band smoking in park here. Let's go! God, he's just the best. Mr. Ryder, can I get you a muffin or, or a cold drink, perhaps? Hey there, have you heard about my robot friend? He's metal and small and doesn't judge me at all. He's a cyber wire bundle of joy, my robot friend. I like to dip and daddle with my robot friend. He's smart as can be and emotion free. And he's computed his way to my heart, my robot friend. The robot, it thinks it's alive. It's developed consciousness. Can you believe it, boys? We're playing in the state championship game! Yeah! Yeah! Good job, kids! We're so proud of you, kids! What happens if we win the state championship game? Well, then your whole season starts over. But on the national circuit, you get to spend your whole summer playing baseball! What?! You can do it, kids! We know you can win state! Then we'll spend the whole summer going to Nebraska, and Iowa, and Wyoming! Oh, no, 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 no! Ignoring him? How come? Because he's a fat, racist, self-centered, intolerant, manipulating sociopath. Oh, yeah. Hey, I hate Cartman, too. Can I ignore him with you? Yeah, me, me too. too. Yeah, screw him. Yeah. I never realized ignoring him was an option. Dad, are you all right? Yeah, I'm... No, I'm good. feel a lot better. Mr. Marsh, we apologize, and if it's okay with you, we would like to present you your long-overdue trophy. <laughs> Kyle, leprechauns aren't real. You're almost nine now. You need to understand the difference between real and imaginary. I thought I did. Nation. 
Imagination! Is Imagination Land. It's where all the wonderful and goofy things that humans have made up over the years live together. Uh, now see, your safety is at our whim. This is the price you pay, America. You have defiled Allah, and now we shall turn your imagination against you. Death to the infidels! Hold on! Hold on a second! Oh, oh Mom, Dad! I dreamt I was in Imagination Land, and then terrorists attacked it? You are in Imagination Land. This is a dream. Huh? Hey, wake up, stupid! Come on, wake up, kid! No, wait! I was back home in bed! No, you passed out and peed your pants! It's all real. Think about it. Haven't Luke Skywalker and Santa Claus affected your lives more than most real people in this room? I mean, whether Jesus is real or not, he, he's had a bigger impact on the world than any of us have. And the same can be said for Bugs Bunny and, and Superman and Harry Potter. They've changed my life. Changed the way I act on the Earth. If I was a homosexual or a fish, I would know. You're a rapper. Yes. An entrepreneur. Yes. And you like fish sticks. Yes. You're a gay fish. No, I am not no gay fish. I is that how it happened? Look, exactly who came up with which part of the joke isn't even relevant. We had an agreement, Jimmy. And if you want to go back on that now, well, then you're no better than a Jew. I believe you. You do? Yes. I believe that you believe you helped write that joke. That's how people like you work. Your ego is so out of whack that it will do whatever it can to protect itself. And people with a messed up ego can do these mental gymnastics to convince themselves they're awesome when really they're just douchebags. Now I got my wish. Cause I know that I'm a gay fish. Gay fish. Gay fish, yo. Motherfucking gay fish. Gay fish. I'm a fish, yo. Going on a gay fish. I'm gonna be making some deep fried chicken. Oh, yeah. My buttery whipped potatoes, and we're gonna be finishing off with a chocolate pecan pie. Oh, uh, oh, fuck yeah. You are doing excellent. Someone who took the time to actually get themselves informed, actually got up and drove to a voting area to make sure their voice was heard. Dude! Here's another patriotic American. He probably spent hours listening to all those presidential ads. It isn't a student, it's an adult. This ugliness came from our family! I think it's one of the parents. You're supposed to just laugh and make fun of shit. Daddy called you a pussy. 